This channel is powered by patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Enjoy a library of specialized resources to help fast track your guitar journey. Hey everybody, welcome back to Swift Lessons for another living room session and a quick rhythm tutorial. One of the most powerful tools that we have at our disposal as both rhythm and lead guitar players is the ability to visualize chord triads across the fretboard. This will allow you to play chord progressions in different voicings, but it will also allow you to see overlap in scales so that way you can play across the fretboard as a lead guitar player with greater fluidity. So in today's lesson, we're going to review the caged system, C-A-G-E-D. And we're gonna learn how to play each of those triads across the fretboard. Let's take a close look. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with this review of the caged system. We're gonna begin by learning how to play the C major chord in five positions. C shape position. The C major chord played with an A shape. The C major chord played with a G shape. The C major chord played with an E shape. And finally, a D shape. All right, that spells out C, A, G, E, D, or caged. And right there, we have the essence of what the caged system is all about. Okay, so that first position, C major, played in its C shape position. All right, frets three, two, zero, one, zero. Most of you already know that, I'm sure. All right, next we have the A shape position, taking an A major chord and transposing it up to the key of C. All right, that's frets three, five, 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 and three. Okay, also sometimes played with the bar of the ring finger. Okay, omitting the high E string. Next, we're gonna transpose a G major chord shape up to the key of C. Now my root note is on the eighth fret of the low E string, a C note by no coincidence. Barring with the index finger. All right, a tricky chord shape that doesn't have a ton of utility, but still very, very important because it overlaps with the G-shaped position of the major scale, probably one of the most useful positions of the major scale. Okay, next we have the E-shape position. Just taking an E major chord and transposing it to the key of C. Okay, so now we have frets. Low E string, eighth fret. Next we have the 10th fret, 10th fret, ninth fret, eighth fret, and eighth fret. All right, then finally, the D shape position. All right, now we're gonna take a D major chord shape and once again, transpose it up to the key of C. All right, root it off of the D string. So that's gonna be 10th fret, 12th fret, 13th fret, 12th fret. All right, a C major chord played in its D shape position. All right, let's review. C major played across the fretboard in all five caged positions. C position. A position. G position. E position. And D position. Now let's move on to the next chord in the caged sequence, A major. All right, the open position, also known as the a shape position for this chord, we have open A, second fret D, second fret G, second fret B, and the open high E string. The A major chord in its A shape position. All right, next we would have the G shape position. All right, so G shape position, just taking a G major chord up a full step and then bar in the second fret. So frets five, four, two, 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 five. All right, next we have E shape position. All right, now we have frets five, seven, seven, six, five, five. A major in E shape position. Okay, next, finding the root note up an octave. We're going to have the D shape position. All right, so that's going to be frets seven, nine, 
10, 9. The A major chord in D shape position. All right, and then finally, we're going to take a C major chord shape, transpose it up to the key of A major. Now my root note is on the 12th fret A string. Switch my fingers up so that way I have my index finger available to bar. And I have an A major chord in C shape position. Okay, so that's frets 12, 11, uh, 9 with the bar, 10 with the middle finger on the B string, and 9th fret of the high E string again with the bar. All right, for this chord and actually all of my barred shapes, I'm pressing my chest into the guitar, pulling back with both arms. That way I can get all of those notes to ring clearly. All right, let's review. A major in all five caged positions. A shape. The very tricky G shape. The very important, crucial E shape. Next we have D shape right here and C shape. And of course you can download my PDF study guide at patreon.com slash lessons. I'm gonna have uh, tabs and chord diagrams for all of these shapes. Okay, so, so far we've learned uh, C major and A major in their five caged positions. Now we're moving on to the next chord in the caged sequence, G major. Okay, most of you know this one already. It's that garden variety open position, AKA, uh, G shape position of the G chord. So frets three, two, zero, 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 three. All right, from here it's very redundant. We're just taking the same exact shapes and moving them fret to fret for transposition. So next we would have the G major chord played with an E shape. Okay, so that's going to be frets three, five, five, four, three, three. All right, from there we have the D shape position. Five, seven, eight, seven. And then next we'd have C shape position. All right, frets 10, nine, uh, seven with the bar, eight and seven again. All right, and then finally we're gonna have the A shape position. You can play it like this, but as I get into the higher frets, I almost always use my ring finger. Okay, so frets 10, 12, 12, 12. G major in the A shape position. Okay, so we're always going in order. C, A, G, E, D, but depending upon the key, you're gonna start in a different place. All right, so once again, the G major chord played in all five positions, let's review. G shape, E shape, D shape, that one's a little tricky. C shape position and of course, A shape position. All right, and of course we can go up another octave too if we have the space. Okay, now move into the E major chord. We're gonna start in the E shape position for E major, frets zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. All right, next we would have the D shape position. So find E right here on the D string and set up a little D major chord shape. From there, we have E major played in its D shape position. Okay, next we're gonna have the C shape position of the E chord. Finding the root note on the seventh fret of the A string, setting up the C shape. Fret seven, six, four, five, four. Then we're on to the A shape position. Fret seven, nine, nine, nine. Onto the G shape position. This is all review. We're just transposing to the key of A. Frets 12, 11, 9, 9, 9, 12. And then finally, if you would like, you can go up an octave from where you start it with the E string major bar chord. E string rooted major bar chord. Okay, so playing through each one. E position, D position, C position. A position and G position and finally E position again. Okay, now last stop, D major. How to play the D major triad in all five caged positions. 
Armed with the knowledge that we've gained today, we should be able to go through this one at a faster pace. So we have D shape position. All right, then we're going back to the beginning of the sequence, C position. All right, then we're on to A shape position. Four. All right, then we're gonna have G shape position, finding the D note on the 10th fret, low E string. All right, then we're on to E shape position. Using that standard E string rooted bar chord shape. All right, and then finally, we're back to the D shape position, one octave up. All right, just like that, frets 12, 14, 15, 14. Okay, so once again, the D shape, the C shape, the A shape, the G shape, E shape, and the D shape. Okay, very well done, everybody. With all of that down, you should be able to actually transpose these things across all 12 keys and be able to play every single major triad, regardless of key, across the fretboard because of the golden rule of guitar. What works one place works every place. So let's take a chord like F major, which in its standard form is played in the E shape position. Whether you play it like that or like that or like that. Okay, we're still playing a, at least a piece of the E shape position when we play an F chord. So that means we can play it in its D shape position next. All right, and then from there we can play it in its C shape position. And then from there we can play it in its A shape position. And then from there we can play it in its G shape position. All right, and then we can play it in its E shape position again. All right, and if we had a longer neck, we could go even further, right? Of course. All right, so let's take that nice and slow, practice these things, get them into your muscle memory. And the most important thing is that you start to use these concepts whenever you write songs, whenever you're jamming with people and you're trying to find your place in the mix. Um, try playing chord progressions in different voices, try mixing together these different positions, and then you're gonna be thinking like a real pro guitarist. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, definitely check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash with lessons if you need some extra guidance in the PDF study guide. Until next time, this is Rob coming at you from Summers Point, New Jersey, saying happy picking. Thank you.